First and foremost, thank you everybody for coming out to the March Medical Mixer. Obviously, this is a different setting than what we typically, where we typically hold our medical mixers. I want to thank Alexia Crowley and her team for really organizing this. If it weren't for them, we wouldn't be here. Thank you. And it's cool because we get to see an actual practice and where a lot of folks uh, practice medicine. So it's a unique, unique setting. Uh, and furthermore, it kind of fits into our whole strategic plan for medical and wellness travel. Uh, as you know, Las Vegas Heels has been on a journey along with the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, the Las Vegas Global Economic Alliance, and UNLV to position Las Vegas to become the most globally recognized destination for health and wellness travel. And it's surgical centers just like this that are gonna allow us to get there. A lot of these procedures are minimally invasive procedures where patients are flying in from out of market to get stuff done and they're getting it done in surgery centers just like this. And they're gonna tell you a little bit more about what makes this a unique center uh, after when we make some introductions in a few minutes. Uh, as you know, our strategic plan for medical tourism is a little bit different than most other cities or countries. A lot of people when they think about medical tourism immediately think about leaving the United States, going to a Costa Rica or, or Mexico for a low cost care. We have absolutely no desire to win that war to zero. We're all about delivering quality and we're all about repurposing or repositioning what medical tourism is all about. And in the strategic plan, we looked at medical tourism with what we call our three-legged stool. One leg does focus on medical procedures and those areas that we have core competencies and centers of excellence. And those are things such as orthopedics, bariatrics, uh, cosmetic surgery, anti-aging, brain health, uh, fertility. That's going on in Las Vegas right now. Another one of the legs of the stool is focusing around medical meetings. Obviously, we are the medical meeting capital of the world now. Uh, last year, as a meeting destination, we held over 21,000 meetings as a whole right here in Las Vegas. Not all of those are medical meetings, but that number is growing more and more. Medical meetings play a huge role in that plan because it does a couple things. It attracts professionals to come out here where we're able to seed and start distributing what our strategic plan looks like because that's where that referral base starts coming in. Additionally, it starts offering the practitioners here in town a unique offering of being able to access that CME, that continuing education that occurs with the, those medical meetings. So that's very, very important. The other area is around wellness. If you look on the Las Vegas Strip, we have 47 world-class spas that are seeing patients each and every day. And being able to bridge that, that proactive patient, that one that's looking to get well, and start introducing them to the other services that are offered here in Las Vegas. That's a big piece of our strategy. Um, as you know, the biggest competitive advantage that Las Vegas has is we're Las Vegas. We own customer service. We own hospitality. And we're gonna be doing a lot more around that. To my side, somewhere around here, you're gonna see the front cover of the next newsletter, and it's all around the introduction of hospitality into healthcare. So what does that mean? We've been working very deeply with UNLV Hotel School, Dr. Stowe Shoemaker, who is the dean over there. He's got a tremendous amount of experience. Prior to this, he was down at the University of Houston at the Texas Medical Center working deeply with MD Anderson. And how do you bring hospitality into the delivery of healthcare? Because as we all know, the, the, the way that healthcare is being reimbursed nowadays is all based around patient satisfaction. We hear numbers of 30% now, and we hear that that may increase to 50% of the reimbursement rate is tied around patient satisfaction. That's no different than a customer service satisfaction survey. That's no different than how do we make that patient feel better, and when we, as a destination in Las Vegas, own that intellectual property, we have been treating people right for how long? Last year we had, what, 41 million visitors here in town? So we're working with UNLV to transfer that intellectual property from hospitality into healthcare. And there's an institute that's being born around that. And they're gonna hold their first conference on April 24th and 25th. And they're bringing in world-renowned leaders from around the United States to come out here to start talking about that. Friday the 24th, we'll be focusing more on the hospital side. The 25th, which is Saturday, we'll be focusing more on the practitioner and the practice management side. Uh, but it's gonna be an amazing, amazing conference. And that, again, that fits to the strategic plan. I don't know how many of y'all have uh, read or subscribed to the old book of If Disney Ran Your Hospital. It was a big thing over the last probably 12 years. I know walking through the front door, I wouldn't want to see Mickey Mouse greeting me. 
So I think we've got a lot to offer there, and there's a big conference coming up about that. Fitting in with the medical meetings, um, there's another opportunity. So here we are positioning Las Vegas for a destination for medical and wellness travel. A lot of that goes around surgery centers such as this. We were fortunate to attract a new conference that's coming into town. It'll be the tail end of, I believe, August going into September. And it's uh, being put on by OR Today, which is an established publication. Uh, and with that, they're looking for presenters. So it's a great way. We've got an, uh, an amazing relationship with the show promoter to take some of our local talent, those that have been doing an exceptional job with perioperative care, and how do we bring that excellence that we're already delivering here in Las Vegas and start sharing that nationally, and it starts putting us more and more on that map. So that's a big opportunity. If anybody has an interest in speaking at that, uh, please let me know. They're looking for folks to talk about cost containment, improving hospital performance measures, patient satisfaction, uh, CMS quality measures, robotics, and what that's doing to development strategies. So again, come uh, talk to me about that uh, after the, after the, the presentation here. Um, let's see, so at this point, I'm gonna turn the microphone over to Jennifer Mahar, who's going to uh, introduce some of our sponsors and talk a little bit about the upcoming events that we have. Jennifer? Thank you, Doug. Again, for coming this evening and for Parkway for being our gracious host. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, it's the first time we've ever done this, but we do have rack cards that have all of our upcoming medical mixers that for the next five months. Um, a lot of our uh, members are going to be putting these in their physician lounges and putting them in their places of business to promote our upcoming events. Um, our next one is going to be at Tommy Bahama. It's going to be on April 1st, April Fool's Day, um, at Town Square. Um, the other one, our main one, is going to be at Skya. I don't know if you guys have seen that. or um, It's at the top of McDonald Highlands. Um, it's a very beautiful view. Right now it's going to be in the clubhouse. Um, there is a very small chance that they do get all the permits um, done in time that we will be at the top of the mountain with a very beautiful view. Regardless, it's a very nice venue. Um, in June, we'll be at Gordon Biersch, and in July, we'll be at Angel Park, and then in August, we have listened to feedback from our members and wanting to switch our events from Wednesday to Thursdays, um, and that will jumpstart our, our mixers being on Thursdays, and that'll be on August 6th, and that'll be at Dignity Health um, rolling out their new Siena campus. Um, if anybody's interested in hosting uh, one of our mixers, um, moving forward in September we're already scheduling those out and have a lot of interest in it um, or if you're interested in sponsoring they're filling up very quickly this year um, and they are all right now they're always from 6 to 8 on Wednesdays again in August it'll be starting on Thursdays um, we are going to go ahead and introduce one of our sponsors, um, one person that helped put a lot of this together, and that's Alexia Crowley from Parkway, um, talking about Parkway Medical Plaza. Um, if you want to come up and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Dave Sundrum from Odyssey Realty, and on behalf of Odyssey Realty and Parkway Medical Plaza, we would like to thank you all for coming and for supporting this event. We are happy to um, bring people in and show the building. Yeah, sure. I, I want to thank everybody for your patience as we drug you through all the corners of this building. Our, our plan was to expose the building to all the people in the medical community. We think a medical building with 90,000 square feet filled with practitioners, primary care, and, and OBGYN folks was a great starting point to build any kind of medical practice. We got a surgery center on the first floor. So it's on a freeway medical building. We're, we're hoping that helps either you folks or some of your friends and you're for maybe some folks that need some space. And Alexia can tell you a little bit more about the features in the building. Um, for those that are interested, for your practice, we have building signage available facing the freeway, the 215 and Green Valley Parkway. We're right there at the intersection. We have traffic counts of over 70,000 cars per day. We have four suites that are built out with exam rooms ranging in size from 1,500 to 3,600 square feet. We're offering a generous uh, moving allowance for those that want to take the suites. And um, we, we look forward to joining our first class location. And if you have anyone that's looking for sp space, please send them our way. Thank you. We would definitely want to thank all of our sponsors tonight. Appreciate it. I'll go ahead and bring up Pam Finley uh, from Parkway Surgery Center to say a few words as well. Hi, everybody. Um, 
first let me say the management company here has been terrific um, in this medical building. Uh, I've been here, well, Parkway Surgery Center has been here since 1998. I personally have been here since 2003. And it's a kind of a, takes on a life of its own as a medical building. Like we have the whole, uh, above the third floor is all HVAC systems and um, generators and all the stuff that keep you, keep us going in an emergency. Um, as well, our referral patterns here in the building. We have uh, like the GYN physicians upstairs come down and do their surgery, go back up and see their patients. It's really a terrific uh, situation um, or opportunity for some of them once they come here. Um, the other, uh, hi Dr. Grabo. <laughs> All of a sudden I noticed that I recognize you. Um, so the building management's been terrific. Uh, Las Vegas Heels, it really got me interested. We're looking, I've been contacted by hotels saying that they would like to take care of the, any patients that we have that fly in and need some uh, respite care, where the hotel said that we'll take care of them, we'll outfit them, we know they come in for a week. Um, so interestingly, they reached out to us before we reached out to them, because we are gonna be doing um, some bigger surgeries where people are gonna want to have some uh, recovery time, and, and as well if they, if they do the Nevada tourism with the um, Las Vegas Heels, then they're going to need some place to stay. So we're actively ready to do that. Um, just to let you know, we are partnered with Dignity Health. They, um, they are partnered with United Surgical Partners, which is our management company. They have a joint venture here in town. We live up to their standards and their missions and their centers of excellence. And um, So we're someplace that you could take a trust to be part of. So I just want to thank you for coming tonight, and if you ever have any questions, you can always come by, give me a call, and I'd love to help you out. Thanks. Thank you. We have three drawings tonight, and I'll go ahead and mix it up and do one of the first ones. Um, it is for uh, two entries to the next medical mixer, and it goes to um, Rick Bringer, uh, Rick Obringer from Advanced Surgical Associates. Congratulations. We'll send you an email with uh, the information to register for the next one. Um, our next sponsor is Kitchell, um, for Michael from uh, Kitchell, to come and talk a little bit about what they do. Thank you. My name is Mike Walsh with Kitchell, and we get we love being part of this. And Las Vegas heals significantly with some of the healthcare that they represent in the Valley. Quick show of hands: Who knows who Kitchell is? What we are? Who we do? There are some hands, um, but I bet we're going to change that by the time we're done talking. Why Kitchell? We're a general contractor, we're a builder. Why is a builder here with a group that represents 100% of the hospitals, medical schools, and a significant amount of doctors in the valley? I'm going to share that a little bit that with you about that. So we're a builder. And we've done projects all over the valley, whether it's if you've golfed at the, at the Paiutes, we did the country club. We've done retail, high-rise, higher ed, TIs and renovations. But this is about health care. So if you think about the valley, you have Sunrise Women's and Children's Hospital. We built it. We've done major renovations and expansions over at Sunrise over the years. If you work your way around the valley, Mountain View Hospital, we built it, and then years later we came back and put an additional floor on top of it while it was fully occupied, which was a pretty big deal. If you keep working around the valley, Southern Hills Hospital, we built it. St. Rose San Martin, we built it. And St. Rose Siena. Not only did we build it, build it, but right now we're doing the big renovation over there that Teresa Conley has talked about, I think two months ago, about what a big deal this is to the valley, and it's roughly 220,000 square feet. That not only are we building it, but we're also doing so many renovations and expansions to their central plant and really updating the technology that at the end of the day, 220,000 square foot expansion for the same power bill. And a lot of efficiencies to the water as well. So the challenge was, it's a design build job, architect, engineer working with Kitchell to try and build something that they're proud of and something that's gonna make a statement for them being efficient in the desert. So, if you think about some of the projects we've done, we are a healthcare builder, we take this very serious, whether it's infectious control, whether it's critical systems, whether it's working around not only revenue producing space, but your patient as well. We love what we do. Uh, we have two of our people here, Steve Wilson is a senior superintendent, Mike Fitch, who's a senior project manager. 
For the people who have heard about us, what we do ask is come talk to us a little bit, share some of the stories that you know about us, how you've heard about us, because we like to hear how we're perceived in the valley. And uh, for those of you who haven't, at least you've got to, you definitely have seen some of the projects that we've done and you've got to see the company that has done it. We are a healthcare builder and we're very proud of it. And we're proud to be part of this group because we do feel a connection to the healthcare in Henderson and Las Vegas. Thank you. Before we bring up um, our next sponsor, uh, we'll go ahead and do another raffle drawing, and it is for two complimentary um, Boosted Street Experience Tours out in Henderson Commerce Center. It includes a, a tour of the winery, the distillery, and the, the breweries out there and samples, and it goes to Charlie Carson from Dignity Health, and we will email you those gift certificates in the mail. Um, our, our next uh, sponsor is Nick Berger from Optum Bank to say a few words. Um, that's all. Thank you. Thanks. You're probably getting tired of all the talking, so I'll just be brief. Thanks for letting us come out and uh, be a part of this wonderful event. Um, just to, by way of introduction, I'm Nick Berger with Optum Bank. So we are a specialty healthcare bank, meaning uh, all of our deposits come from healthcare. And uh, I specialize in lending back to the healthcare community. So that's all we do is lend to the healthcare community, uh, be it in commercial real estate, working capital, or equipment. So if any of you are in the healthcare industry uh, and you have any need for any of those products, whether you're buying or refinancing a building, uh, maybe you're looking to expand your space, something like in this building here, uh, looking to purchase new equipment or a working capital line. Uh, please give me a call. We'd love to help out and uh, help you with your business. We're a very consultative lender and are looking to help you and your practice or your, your business grow in the healthcare community. Uh, we're grateful again to be here. And please, if you have any questions, feel free to stop by. You can talk with myself or my colleague Chris over there uh, or call me anytime. So we have a, a little going away gift or a gift bag for everybody uh, downstairs that will have my contact information on my card. Thank you. Make sure you do grab your goodie bags downstairs. There's a lot of great things in there. All of our sponsors contributed things as well. I've got um, stress balls in there. I'll get stuff. <laughs> I'll get stuff. Um, we'll go to our last drawing um, is for a complimentary facial from Dr. Lane Smith, and that actually goes to Dr. Annette Tihiro. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly or not, but if you're here, I can come and grab you. There you go. We'll bring up our last sponsor, which is James Miller from, uh, he's a branch manager for AAA at the, sorry, at the Anthem office off of Eastern to say a few words. All right, thank you very much for having us out. Uh, AAA, <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, a lot of people know AAA for our first in-class roadside service. A lot of people don't realize all those pretty yellow trucks that are driving around there won't come rescue you unless you're a member of AAA. Uh, doesn't matter who your manufacturer is, BMW, Lexus, no one comes out and rescues you, rescues you faster than a AAA uh, a truck driver will. None of them is more uh, professionally trained than a AAA provider. But a lot of people don't realize that we also offer insurance products. So we've invited some of our insurance agents out here tonight to make personal connections with you. So would our insurance agents step up? Come on up. Now at AAA, we're a little old fashioned. We believe that insurance is more than just a 15 minute online transaction. So we believe in personal connections, so these agents will do just that. They want to make connections with you to sit down, review your personal needs for your auto, home, and life insurance. So again, thanks for having us out, and be sure to talk to one of these gentlemen before you leave. Wow, I got the list of all of our new and renewing members for January and February, and there's over 20 on here. So I want to recognize them. Usually it's not this large, but I'll be very quick. Um, Altus Hospice, First Med Health and Wellness Center, KPS3, Inc., Medical Resource Staffing, Milan Institute, Red Rock Fertility Center, Ronald McDonald House, Safari Interiors, University of Nevada School of Medicine, Quality Medical Imaging, Healthcare Partners, Retail Association of Nevada, Flying ICU, 
Shear Institute for Reproductive Medicine, Affordable Concepts, Bank of George, Palm Boulder Highway Mortuary and Cemetery, Bright Star Care, and uh, Southwest Medical Associates, SR Construction and Nevada State Bank. So give a round of applause to all of our new and remaining members. Cards, and that's a really amazing fact, is Las Vegas Heals um, includes organizations that employ over 24,000 healthcare and wellness professionals in our valley. So, so if you're not a member, then feel free to contact anybody that is on our membership team. Lisa Chow's on our membership team. Um, if you're interested in getting on the membership task force, let us know. Um, also, we are looking for people to be part of the events task force as well. Please talk to myself. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it over to Doug for closing remarks. Are you good? Or? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Enjoy yourselves. There's a, an open bar back here, plenty of food back there. Please mix, mango, get to know one another, and thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you to the sponsors for uh, providing the venue.